Hi, I'm Sari Sudekran. This week, I'm excited to share with you 15 cinematic lookup tables I've created that you can use on any log footage, any camera, and any program that accepts cube LUTs. I've been wanting to make LUTs for a long time, but it had to mean something. The LUTs I've created are inspired by the films I've watched growing up, specifically films from Kerala in the 80s and early 90s, and of course, Bollywood and Tamil films from the same era. I'm also inspired by Hollywood films and world cinema, so you'll find an eclectic mix of lookup tables that can be used with any log format or Rec. 709 footage from any camera. I've shot with almost every log format out there, and in this video I'll show you how you can use these LUTs with any footage in just a few simple steps. I'm going to be using DaVinci Resolve because the free version is good enough to use and is the most accessible software. Here on this timeline I've got log clips from different cameras. I've got Panasonic V-Log, I've got Nikon N-Log, I've got Red Log, Airy Log C, Sony S Log 2 and S Log 3, Canon Log, and of course Blackmagic Design Film Log. It doesn't matter which format you shoot in, the workflow is the exact same. The first step is to make sure that you haven't applied any look to your clips. They look log-like. Log footage looks flat, ungraded. The blacks aren't always completely black. And it just looks flat overall. Every log format looks flat. Some a little more than others, but they're flat and you have to grade them. You have to do something to the image to make them look good. Open your project settings in DaVinci Resolve and make sure the color space is DaVinci YRGB and your timeline is Rec. 709 with a gamma of 2.4. If your deliverables are HDR or some other format, you can start with Rec. 709 and then apply the appropriate lookup table or correction to that format and then go off from there. I'm assuming most people who want to use these lookup tables don't have the time to grade or don't want to start from scratch. You want to start from a good starting place and then just apply a few tweaks and go from there. So you head over to the color page and I'm going to start with this footage which is Panasonic V-Log. I'm going to change the name of the node just for instruction purposes and I'm going to call it Correction. The reason I'm calling correction is because not every footage or not every shot is exposed correctly. Some might be overexposed a bit, some might be underexposed a bit, even in the same scene. Some shots might be white balanced correctly, some might not be white balanced correctly. So the correction node is there so you can make those changes before you apply any lookup table. The second node I create is called a log to 709 look. Now I'm using DaVinci Resolve specifically because it has inbuilt free lookup tables from almost every camera format and log format out there. So you pick the appropriate log to 709 lookup table that you want and make sure your footage is now in the 709 color space. Now because it's provided by the manufacturer themselves, you can be rest assured that you're not going to get any weird artifacts. You're going to be getting a true log to 709 conversion. So once you apply that, you get a much better looking footage. And you can see how the footage looks before log and after log. So these two steps have to be done for about 10 of the lookup tables from my 15 cinematic LUTs. Now to apply these LUTs, you have to add a third node. So in effect, most of these LUTs are created to be applied after the footage is converted to 709 space. The advantage of that is if you shoot directly to Rec. 709 and if you don't want to shoot log, you can still use these lookup tables. So I'm going to call this node the Wolf Crow LUT because that's the LUT we're going to be applying our lookup table to. And I'm just going to go ahead and create one more node and this is specific to black and white because I have one lookup table for black and white and if you're using that lookup table to get the black and white look then you might want to use this, but it's only useful if you want the black and white look. The only thing we'll be doing to this node is to desaturate it and whatever changes have to be made, it will be made in the previous node in the Wolf Crow LUT node. So just to recap, the desat node is only for that one single LUT if you want black and white footage. Otherwise, you don't need the fourth node. You just need three nodes. The first node is a correction node. The second node is the log to 709 node and you apply the lookup table that already is inside Resolve or your favorite editing or color grading program. The third node would have the Wolf Crow LUT. Before you see Wolf Crow LUTs in DaVinci Resolve, 
you have to import them and you have to do that with most programs. You head over to project settings and you open the lookup table directory or the folder. You copy the 15 lookup tables into this folder. Maybe you want to create a new folder like I have called Wolf Crow LUT. So you have all the LUTs in one folder and it's organized. And once you copy that, you update the folder and the 15 cinematic lookup tables should be available to you. Now let's go ahead and apply one lookup table and see what it looks like. I'm going to go ahead and select the first one, which is desat. And you can see desaturates the image and you get a great look right off the bat. I haven't done anything to the image, haven't even corrected this image because I think I exposed it okay. If you feel you haven't exposed it correctly, then you can go ahead and play with the shadows and highlights and maybe the white balance. And you can see for every clip that I'm using, I am applying the same lookup table. The reason it's being automatic right now is because the Wolf Crow LUT node is a shared node. So because it's a shared node, any change that you make to the shared node will be applied across all your clips. So you can create a shared node for a scene or for the film as a whole, and it will save you a lot of time. You can also do it one by one. You can apply the changes to the first clip and then copy it to the rest of the clips. I'm assuming you know how to use Resolve. Different editing and grading programs work a little differently. Resolve is a node-based grading program. Some software is based on layers. You have to figure out what the right workflow is for your application. But in the case of Resolve, you can see I'm cycling through all the clips. We move from Vlog to Nikon N-Log and you can see it looks great, doesn't matter which camera it is, and the results are consistent. It's not like you get different results with different cameras. You get the same cool desaturated look that you expect from Vlog in N-Log. The Red Log footage that we have right now is from the Red Monstro as well as the Red Dragon, and they have consistent results. Same applies to Sony S-Log2, Sony S-Log3, and here's some Airy Log C clips as well. Then we have Canon Log, Canon Log 2, and finally Blackmagic Design Film. So you pick the appropriate lookup table. In this case, it was shot with a pocket camera, so I'm picking pocket camera to extended video, which I assume is somewhat close to 709, and then you apply the DSAT look, and it looks great. With Red Log, I'm using the IPP2 color profile, so you make sure the gamma is log 3G10, and the color space is red, white, gamut, RGB. You get two categories of lookup tables in Resolve Rec 2020 and 709, depending on the color space. Because this is a 709 timeline, you pick 709 and pick the lookup table that you want to start off with. I'm picking a medium contrast lookup table. With Canon RAW, I can change the log format, so I'm picking Canon Cinema Gamut and Canon Log 2, just to show you that you get a great look. Just pick the appropriate lookup table from Log 2 to 709 and you should be good to go. Now let's try a different look. The second one is pop that I'm using right now. It's designed to give you a better pop for the image color-wise instead of the actual 709 look. And I'm cycling through all the rest of the lookup tables one by one. You can see there are different effects. I've got night blue, I've got night silver, I've got purple haze, and a lookup table inspired by Blade Runner and so many of the films that I saw as a kid. And I just wanna share that with you. Now with the black and white, lookup table, all you have to do is make sure the last node is active and you apply the lookup table and you can see you get a nice vintage black and white feel to your footage that I think is great. Again, it's inspired by the films that I've seen in black and white and I, and I like in black and white. And of course, if you want to try to grade, you want to add more contrast, you want to play with the highlights and shadows, you can always do that. You just add more nodes and you continue color grading because the objective of these lookup tables is to get to a good starting point fast when you don't have the time to grade from scratch. Once you see something you like, then you can make some changes. Maybe you can tweak a little bit and you will still have a cinematic look without having to spend a lot of time. Not everybody has the time to grade from scratch. Not all clients pay for color grading. That's the reality of the situation. I've got lookup tables from the Kerala film industry of the 80s and 90s I've got old Bollywood. Again, it's my impression, you know, my childhood and the colors that I was impressed by when I was young. And it excites me to share these things with you in a very clear and simple workflow. You don't have to do a lot to get those looks with any kind of footage. I also have four lookup tables that you can apply directly 
to log footage without the intermediate log to 709 look. Even got one inspired by the Matrix where you get a great green tinge to your footage which also keeps the reds in check because that's the cool thing about the Matrix. The reds stay red and everything else is green. So you get that look without it looking cheap because that's the objective. Once you've downloaded these lookup tables, please try using them in DaVinci Resolve the way I've showed you. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to assist you. I'm not an expert in other software, so if you're using something like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 10, please refer to the manual or just ask around on how to use lookup tables and how to get the exact same workflow that I showed you with Resolve in that software. It should be pretty simple. There's nothing too complicated about it. It's just that I'm using Resolve almost exclusively nowadays. And it's a great program to learn color grading and get excellent looks very quickly. It spoils you. If you're interested in checking out the 15 cinematic LUTs I've created, I'll link to them below so you can see what effect they have on different log formats. Find the link in the description. I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.